These goblin videos are so scary. Weird. Oh, thank God it's not a goblin. That's still weird though because I don't have a cat. Hmm. Hello everyone, the Martoon here, and this video is going to change your life forever. Ever heard of goblins? Small little mythical creatures, right? Wrong. There are actually videos that show solid evidence of goblins being real. I didn't even have to go to the dark web to find this. It's right here on YouTube. I guess the FBI must use Vimeo. So yeah, prepare yourselves because we're gonna be watching some real goblins caught on camera. Okay, so this first one is called Strange Creature Caught on Tape in Parking 2016. And the description says, a young man in a parking heading towards his car he realizes that something strange it hides under a car. The young man takes his smartphone and starts recording all what happened in the video. <laughs> the description alone has given me the shakes. Always gotta check under your car for goblins. Now that was a fucking flawless escape. Hmm. Nope. No goblins today. Ooh. Holy shit. A goblin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where did he go? Shit. Okay. Hopefully you're still with us after that first one. I know it was a lot to take in. But there's still four more solid pieces of evidence that I have left to show you. So get ready. Also, sorry if some of these videos are really bad quality. That's kind of a given with these caught on camera videos. It's actually a known fact that goblins and mythical creatures are scared of high tech cameras. So that's why you barely ever see a high quality video of a goblin. This next one is called Strange Creature Caught on Tape. Mothman? Alien? Flatwoods Monster? And the description says, We saw this thing in the window crouching in the dark in our backyard. It got spooked when we turned the light on and then we went to see what it was. Thought it was a cat or fox or something like that at first. It moved to the end of the backyard, not sure how to describe it. It didn't run or walk or fly or scamper or whatever animals usually do. And then disappeared over the fence. Literally disappeared. The video sucks but you can see it clearly when it takes off. And then when it flies up and over the fence. We still have no idea what it was. But needless to say, we haven't gone into the backyard at night for a long time. <laughs> okay, okay, sir. So, what were you doing before you saw this goblin-like creature in your garden? Oh, you know, I was just chilling, hit my pet rabbit over the head with a long-deformed carrot, and laughing, like I do every night. <laughs> sir, please leave. Do you hear something outside? Yeah, um, where's it coming from? <laughs> Yeah. What? Yeah, there's something back there. Did you see where it went? What? Oh, that goblin's gone to upload his own YouTube video titled Strange Human Beating Pet Rabbit with Carrot Caught on Tape. Brackets real. Okay, that one was pretty scary. If not for the goblin, then definitely for the man beating the rabbit with a carrot. But it wasn't as scary as this next one. This one's called Mum films weird goblin-like creature running across the kitchen floor. And the description is a bit too long for a 20 second clip, but I'll read the first part at least. It says, Mum films ghost 
Oh, I guess it's a ghost now. Running behind her baby sitting on the kitchen floor. Goblin caught on camera. Oh, I guess it's a goblin now. Goblin caught on camera as mum films baby in Argentina. Argentinian mother captures strange goblin on camera. Viewers question authenticity. Mum films goblin running across floor. But is it real? And then a lot of the description is just repeating the title over and over again. But I like this next part at least. Mother claims to have filmed a goblin running past her toddler, which now visits him regularly and leaves behind a nauseating smell. Alright then, let's give this a watch. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, so the goblin is scary and all, but I'd be more concerned about the helicopter trying to take off behind the woman. What is that noise? <laughs> and just like that, he's gone. Terrifying. Okay, so this one's titled Weird! Exclamation point. Pygmy forest creatures caught on Camera Community's motorcycle trail in Ache. There's no description for this one, it just says category sports, which uh, fair enough, the main focus of the video isn't the goblin like creature or anything, it's the sick ass motorsports. But yeah, let's watch it. What's up Goosters, it's your boy Goblin Goose TV, back again with another epic prank video. Today we're going to be scaring some motorcyclists, it's going to be pretty epic so remember to smash that like button, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the notification bell, share this video, buy some merch, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me- oh, 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 here they come, here they come. <laughs> you just got goofed guys that was so epic i think one of them might have broken their arm or something so don't forget to smash that like button subscribe hit that note oh, bro it was just a goof it was bro it was a prank bro <laughs> please man I'll, I'll, I'll give you a five percent discount on my merch i swear just don't do Okay, let's be real. That was clearly just a naked man going for his daily jog. I don't know how this got into my goblins folder. Actually, I take back what I just said, because only a goblin could vanish that flawlessly as we've seen from the previous clips. <laughs> This next one is called Real Life Goblin Caught on Tape in Mexico and the description says Real Life Goblin Caught on Tape in Mexico. We take a look at the supposed goblin caught on tape in Mexico. And then it just talks about the story behind Mexican goblins for a while so let's just watch the video. I mean that was kind of rude of them, the little guy just wanted to pass the ball and he gets screamed at. I actually feel really bad for the goblin, he probably tries really hard to fit in but everyone just runs away from him. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Wow, well, uh, this one has really changed my perspective on goblins. 
All this time I've seen them as monsters, when in reality they clearly have emotions and feelings but just because they look different than us we've shut them out of society and ran away from them. <laughs> well I need some time to reflect on all of this so I'm gonna have to end the video here. Hopefully you all learned that goblins shouldn't be demonised and you shouldn't be scared of them because in reality they're just like us. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, subscribe if you're new, and leave a like if you enjoyed. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Hello, well hopefully you enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed making it. Why did I decide to make an entire video about goblins you might ask? I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to make a quick announcement that I've made a Patreon. So Patreon is pretty much where you can support me by donating a certain amount of money to me every month. And in return you get some cool rewards. For $2 a month you can join the nice tier. And for that you'll get a sketch of whatever you want. For $5 a month you can join the very nice tier. And get a coloured sketch of whatever you want. And finally for $10 you can join the very very nice tier and get a coloured, shaded and detailed drawing of whatever you want. With all of these, they show up at the end of my video along with your name, and you'll also get access to some behind the scenes of my next animation. Patreon is just for anyone who wants to go the extra mile in supporting me, but of course if you can't or don't want to donate that's perfectly fine. Watching my videos is more than enough support, this is just so I can save up for better equipment and animation programs and stuff like that. One supporter, that sad guy, has been supporting since February, so here are all the drawings he's gotten from me through the months. So yeah, if you want to support me and get a drawing from me every month, head on over to my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description or at the end card. And to all you gamers out there, you can use code THEMARTOON in the Fortnite shop. Yes, I actually got a code for some reason. Okay, but.